Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Flipping Furniture. My name is Monica and I am the founder and creator of Girasol Vintage. Before I start prepping this piece, I have an announcement. So from now on, Girasol Vintage will be donating the profits of one piece of furniture a month to a local charity or someone's GoFundMe. This piece in particular will be the first one to be sold and the money will be donated to Sandra's Cancer Transition Fund. Sandra is currently living with breast cancer and she wants to, and I quote, raise enough money over the next few years to open up a small daycare and art studio space for learning, creating and discovering the arts open to old ages as a community center. I will be putting the link down below to her GoFundMe and her story. Please consider donating if you can, or at the very least, share this video so we can continue spreading the word. This dresser is part of a set of matching chest and dresser that I got from Facebook Marketplace for free. As you can see, both pieces have a lot of embellishments that are very typical of pieces from this time. Um, however, the dresser is missing a lot of these embellishments, so I am going to have to remove what little is left. The top here is not in the best shape either and some of the veneer is actually lifting so I'm going to be painting over it. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and start removing all my hardware. Now for this transformation, I will be reusing my hardware so I'm going to be very careful to keep every single one of the pieces and make sure that I don't lose them or misplace them. So at this point, I'm going to be removing all the details that are left for two reasons. One, I don't want to try to recreate whatever's missing with resin or any other type of sculpting material. It would just be too expensive and too time consuming. And two, I want for this piece to feel clean and fresh with a little pop of gold. And this gives me an opportunity to sell this piece to more than just one type of buyer. And as always, let's not forget to clean our piece. How well you clean your piece will determine how well your piece looks at the end. So don't skip the cleaning, ever. The top of this dresser was not in the best shape and some of the veneer on the left side was peeling off so I just went ahead and removed it. To repair the holes I'm going to be using some bundo just to patch it up and make sure that it doesn't continue peeling off. So even though I removed most of the details I went ahead and left this trim on the middle drawer because I want to be highlighting it with some um, gilding wax as, as well as the bottom part of the dresser. This is a product that I will be using to repair the holes. Um, it's a two-part filler and this is the hardener. Uh, make sure that you use gloves and a respirator or make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area when using this product. Also, mix on a surface that you're not going to care about so you can just throw it out when you're done using it. You only need a small bead of the hardener, otherwise your piece is going to dry really, really fast and you're not going to have enough time to um, do all your repairs. So you just need a little bit.
Once the Bonda dried, I went ahead and started sanding down any bumps with my surf prep sander. I was wondering why there was so much dust and then I realized I forgot to run the dust collector which let me tell you, it's such a great tool, especially when I have to work inside during the winter. The next part of the process is going to be priming the entire piece and I know for a fact that this is going to be a bleeder. I'm going to be using whatever I have left of this primer which is not an oil based primer and then I'm going to use an oil based primer that is a spray as a second coat. Typically I would not be doing this except I'm trying to avoid spraying an oil based product inside. Um, it's really hard to flip furniture in the winter, especially if you don't have a proper space with safe heating and ventilation. Also, I really wouldn't care if I was using a dark color because any bleed through is camouflaged. But I'm using a very light color and I don't want any yellowing after I apply my top coat. Okay, and now for the fun part of this process, I will be using bare decorative chalk paint in the color Ice Water. It's a pretty light blue and it goes on very, very smoothly. This paint also sprays beautifully. So I really like using this paint. And don't get me wrong, I do like to support my other girls who make paint like Melange and Lily Moon paint. But this paint here is actually very economical and you'll pay about $22 for a can of paint. Now even though this paint is not as thick as say for instance Dixie Belle, it is still um, kind of thick and you are going to need to use your misting bottle just to make sure that you are not leaving um, like super crazy brush strokes unless you like that.
So I went ahead and did two full coats of the paint and after that I went ahead with my clear poly in satin just to go ahead and seal this piece. Bare chalk paint does not require a top coat but I'm still going to do it because I want to make sure that this piece is protected and it's used for many many years to come. Okay, so this is what the hardware looks like after we shine it and I say we because my mom is the one who taught me how to shine any type of metal really. She's really good at it and she's really knowledgeable and I really enjoy doing this part of the process because I get to sit down with my mom and I get to chit chat with her and sip on coffee while we're doing this. So I've already tried um, recording the um, voice over for this three times because I'm just super emotional about what we're doing with this piece today. Um, as I wrap up this video, I'm just filled with emotion to know that with your help, we're going to be able to support Sandra's dream. And while the channel is here to bring entertainment to every single one of you, I want us to be more than that. I really want us to serve others and to lift them up when they need it the most. So with that being said, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys next week for another furniture flip. Bye-bye.